Rikers Island, jail, incarceration. Rikers Island in the early 90s. Today we're going to touch on a few subjects, but most importantly, we're going to touch on Rikers Island in the 90s. And a lot of these video content, documentary form type of videos that I've been seeing, they make me think a lot of times because I'm actually seeing inmates that I'm like, wow, yo, I was there. Or wow, yo, I remember him. And sometimes I wonder, are these people still alive? Or like, whatever came of these people? Like, did they get their life together? Anyway, maybe I'm just an overthinker. But let's get into it and let's see what comes out of this whole Rikers Island experience right here. If you've never been to jail, prison, or any institution, do your best not to go there. Jail is no place for no one, but it accepts everyone, and the doors are always open, <laughs> although they may seem as if they're not. Rikers Island and all these jails are super overcrowded, and if they don't have an actual mattress bed for you to lay on, they will find somewhere for you to rest your head at. Believe that. It is a business. With that being said, if you're watching and you're young and you're thinking about doing crime because you're in need of money or you're going through hard times, we all go through those hard times. I was ignorant at one time and Rikers Island became my home. I was comfortable there. In fact, I'm man enough to admit today that I liked being on Rikers Island. I felt important in Rikers Island. All my peoples were there. The gang was there. And every time I went there, they welcomed me with open arms. But my life was lost. I was in the devil's grips. Today, I no longer live that way. Let's get into it. Rikers Island. Just a brief touch up on what I was just saying, a follow up. I have over 25 arrests and over 19 convictions. Nothing to be proud of, but it reminds me of how much of a loser I was once. I was once. Once in my life, I was that. Today I no longer feel like a loser. It's time. Bob, you ready? So, how you been? No, I love every minute of it. I love every minute. I was in the women's house. I was with the girls. He was in every facility. He was with the girls, the guys. Now, this dude right here was around since I was young going to the island. Picture you being my age. I was still in my teens and seeing this. And I was like, what? Yo, am I bugging? And that's when in my head I was like, holy snap. This is crazy, my guy. Because he would pull out, pop, what's up, Shh. you want some of this, pop, <laughs> yo, I lie to you not, and you on this side of the gate watching that, like, yo, come on, man, you bugging out, but nobody was violating him, nobody was like, Slapping them, nothing. A lot of these so-called gangsters was actually like on a low. <laughs> Getting the heady mo 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 mo. Woo 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 woo. Oh, I'm lying. You know who you are. Don't make me talk, bro. I see you on YouTube, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but it was crazy. I was with Dykes. I'll be all over. I love every minute of it. That's why you should stay out of jail, bro. Out of Rikers Island, out of any prison. It gets crazy. You know what one time he told me? I swear to God, bro. And 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 these things I be forgetting. I ran into him. We in the same bullpen, bro. When I seen him in these videos, I'm like, oh, he snapped on him. He said, damn. Just like that. Because anybody that knows him would tell you, nah, he'll pop. He's not a sucker sucker. Don't get it twisted because of that situation <laughs> or what, he's, what, he, what he changed to, right? Under there is still a, 
a, a man with strength, bro. I'm telling you what I seen. These dudes don't talk about this because of how people are going to look at them or whatever. I know where I stand as a man. And even though I was abused as a kid, but I was a tiny child, bro, like five, six, like that. But uh, 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 as I got older, I walked in the pen and he was like, oh, my God, what a cutie. And then I had beads on, pop, right? And he was like, damn, all the cuties got to be kings, man. And I said, yo, did I just hear what? Did I just hear that? And another person, a Spanish brother, told me, yo, yo, he, he don't mean no disrespect. He just, he's actually giving you props. Like, you cutie. I was like, yo, I wanted to tell him, what you think I should have done, bro? But I was like, after that, he's still quiet. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't say nothing. But he looked at me. He looked him into my neck like my bees. Not like up super close. And was like, damn, all the cuties got to be kings. And whoever knows, uh, Latin kings don't deal with that. Like, period. I mean, you probably, you know, from the stories you've heard, you just haven't heard the full story. You heard his story, somebody else's story, right? But things happen and those people get dealt with. But. Is not allowed the same way drugs are not allowed. Although it may seem like they are, but they're not. If you actually dealing with that, you really not that. You get it? But anyway, Rikers Island, it was crazy when he told me that, bro. I was like, what? <laughs> I got Scooby Doo, like, huh? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> well, so you're in the chain gang now, huh? That's when you was able to wear beads on the islands. Once, uh, like, Giuliani or whatever his name is, Pataki, them dudes came in office, they did it that. I'm going to keep it real n- with no glorifying gangs, but I think that when people was able to wear beads on the island and bandanas, I, I think it solidified, like, a calmness and, like, a and like a, y'all not going to violate this group and that group is not going to violate that group. I think that now, without people being able to fully identify themselves, it leaves a confusion of who's why, who's why, and more beefs actually break out that way because you could be in the bullpen, get touched, pop, oh, snap, yo, he touched one of the bros or he touched the crib or blood. I didn't know he was blood, son, and there's a blood tan you. You get it? Everybody don't know everybody on Rikers Island. These stories that you heard on platforms or what seem like bigger platforms, 98.9% of them were lies, or if they was had some truth to it, they were amplified to look like the winning circle, like 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 they came to save people. You get it? And that wasn't the story, bro. I'm never going to lie to you. I'm talking in general. A lot of people, they amplify. These stories is called friction. <laughs>